She's getting to the point where she's, you know, a lot slower, you know, getting in and out of the vehicle and things like that. That picture and that dog right there is Misty, the arson dog over at the Greenville County Sheriff's Office, and soon Misty will be retiring. She's been a crucial member of the team over the past six years, sniffing out gasoline and other flammable liquids at hundreds of fires. But now the search is on for her replacement. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin has this story for us tonight. Good, Misty. She's a lovable part of the team, but also a crucial one. Misty, the canine arson dog, has been working with the Greenville County Sheriff's Office since 2011 when she was two years old. But now, after years of service, she's getting ready to turn in her badge. So she'll get to enjoy the pet life versus uh, having to always go to work every single day. Arson dogs like Misty are used after the flames are out. The canines are able to sniff out gasoline and other flammable liquids that someone may have spread in the house to start the fire. She saves us. Uh, lots of man hours by um, using her nose for just a few minutes. The sheriff's office says, to their knowledge, they're the only law enforcement agency in the state, other than SLED, that has an arson dog like this. And every once in a while, they will share her with other counties. Misty oftentimes gets activated to other agencies. We just recently went down to Oconee, assist them with an arson investigation as well. Misty has gone to more than 260 fires over the years. Back in November, she helped investigators on the scene of a fire at Power for Living Church in Pelzer. Seven News was there too, our cameras capturing the damage. The sheriff's office is now on the hunt for her replacement. They say it'll likely cost them between twelve and fifteen thousand dollars for the new member of the team, and all that money will come from donations. Their first fundraiser held Wednesday night at Carolina Ale House in downtown Greenville. We're definitely um, very thankful uh, for the generosity of it and, and, and support that we get from the community. Kirsten Glavin, Seven News. There's no word yet on exactly how much money was raised tonight, but the sheriff's office says they likely will have a few more of these fundraisers at Carolina Alehouse over the next two months. They hope to have a new arson dog sometime this spring. Still